So, after a little bit of a crazy launch, we hope... Ah, oh, it was too heavy for my... Oh, more parachute. Hey guys, so I'm working on something resembling a submarine. Uh, you would have just seen me trying to put this thing down, but realized that it's far too heavy. So I'm gonna put more parachutes on and hopefully slow this bad boy down enough to make a precision landing in the water. Uh, I don't think I need anything else. All right, I'll let you watch my launch this time. As you see, I've not named the spacecraft. It's literally just a, uh, a, a tester. Um, <clears throat> yes. Okay, so it knew I was up to something odd and crashed. Uh, right, first things first, let's control from here because this one's upside down, as you may or may not have guessed. Oh, let's go before, before I wobble over. Uh, right, I want to head towards the water. Water! Yeah, you heard me. Right, heading that way with a strange engine on top. We're not particularly looking for height. I just want to get it over to there, so let's go. Oh, he's down that throttle a bit. Okay. And we're over? Are we over? Nearly over. Nearly over. Let's, let's go faster. What? Slow it back down. Right. Let's get to uh, almost... Oh wait, I've got wings, I can't do that. Detach. <laughs> Control from here. Uh, let's deploy parachutes. And hopefully we'll come down. I don't like the way this falls sideways. Mm. If I'm, oh, maybe it's because I've got my SS on. Yeah, right. Eight meters per second, is that still too fast? I don't know, let's uh, time warp through a bit. Bum ba da dum ba 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 na 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 Okay, well there's another fail. Okay, so, heading out past the continental shelf. Let's just bring it down. Uh, I've got a control from here and split. Maybe just uh, aid this in breaking away from me. Get away from me! Ah! Oh, all right, I'll tell you what, we'll do that. Kill that, then go back. Right, parachutes. Bring that right down. Uh, as you can see, I've gone for the slightly smaller approach. Once again, I've got my SAS pointed in the wrong direction. Um, hopefully the less weight will mean that I don't destroy my, my stuff. Uh, rush it down. Get a little bit bored of this bit. Seven meters per second. Might be a bit much. Might be a bit much. Though, to be honest, aside from sticking some uh, uh, opposing boosters on, I'm not sure what else I could do to slow this down. More parachutes, I suppose. Right, hope. Cool, right. Now, we're facing the right way. Oh, nearly. Just as low as we can get, literally. We're below the surface. I'm kind of having to shout over the, over the top of the, the, the boosters. But that's not quite going as well as I was hoping. That's a shame. What does Jeb see? Water. Well, there we go. Failed experiment number one. Uh, I'm going to try a slightly more powerful configuration and we'll see how that goes oh. yeah, really as low as I can get right I'm gonna go do some maths figure out like how I can get more power for less weight 
So welcome back to the last couple of hundred meters of descent. I was having a look at the uh, the plans and I was like, who cares about the weight? I'm not trying to get into orbit. I just want to push this underwater. So yeah, there we go. Uh, lots, 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 lots more rockets. Um, I've gone for these radial ones merely to keep the center of balance low so it faces the right direction. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. Um, but let's see. This is this like four times the power. Do you reckon we'll get four times the distance down? I don't I think I've probably found the limit. That be going to right, let's pop that on and then uh pull up. Oh! Oh it's working! It's oh I'm a genius! I have a submarine! Oh right! Well, here we go. Um not, this is the best camera angle I can get. As soon as you go underwater, oh, there goes all my. Th wow, there we go. I I got down. Wow, it the game really can't cope with it. I got into mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then blew up at the top. <laughs> <laughs> all right, awesome. Okay, uh, I I'm I'm gonna try and do something with this. Oh, that took a lot of power to get down there as well. Um, I I always love how these stay here. Right. Um. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, guys, but keep your eyes open. First for something completely different. Uh, so right here, I'm testing ideas for a rocket sled. Uh, the glider's just kind of incidental. Uh, I actually want to use this design on places like EVE, uh, where there's a bit more, at well, a bit more atmosphere, I say, uh, an atmosphere to drop down off the bottom of uh, like a large spaceship. You kind of strap the glider to the underside, sit a Kerbal in it. Uh, this is why you don't just use a single rocket. I, I found that out relatively quick on. Um, I, first I was like, hey, you know what, a bit of wobble, maybe wings will stabilise it. As you're about to see, I was a little bit right. Uh, oh, don't leave your brakes on, you will smear your Kerbal on the runway. Uh, one of the best deaths I've had actually, it just kind of <laughs> across the floor. Um, <laughs> Hey, right, so once I'd forgot, once I'd started taking my brakes off, as you can see, mucking about with the brakes again, I did that to kind of like stabilise the sled to move my Kerbal onto it. Turns out that really wasn't needed at all. Um, the more uh, aware of you would also have noticed that I've made quite a big error with my glider here. If you watch my flaps, do the flaps, Steve. Do the flaps. There we go. You see the middle ones go up, uh, as the outside ones go down, um, and right here see the problem with that I have no control no control at all um, though that little culture is amazing and then yeah we have this one um, there we go. In, in four or five easy launches I've perfected a rocket sled um, got this guy up in the air this thing glides like oh my god gliding um i i was expecting to like maybe sort of like putt putt to the end of the of the runway um as, as you're about to see i was just pulling off maneuvers all over the place and this just yeah it it flew it flew like you would not believe so yeah th i think it's a, a really good idea for four planets with atmosphere oh oh an idea is occurring as you're listening to me guys i'm taking this thing to jewel uh, a, a gas giant must be great for, for, for gliding. Like my original plan was to have it sort of like high altitude. That's why it's got the, the ion thruster. So it's like high enough up in the atmosphere to get a tiny bit of lift, but also, you know, it can be, the, 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 the drag is small enough to be counteracted by the ion drive. Um, yeah, and now I'm just out for a bit of a buzz about. Uh, like even, like this is how stable it is. I can look at the map. I mean, this is on two, times two speed, so it was going for a while. Look, it's stable. It ah, oh, I, I, you might be able to hear it in my voice. I'm quite chuffed with this this design. Um, it, like like even now, I turned the ion drive off, going, you know what, this will just like ground out on the floor. Now I got to the other side. Well, I didn't get to the other side of the bay. I got bored and did a corkscrew. But yeah, hmm. So um, yeah, as well as a submarine, expect to be seeing a bit more of this out of, out of me. Um, I think it will be quite a good idea. Uh, I might even do a small launch of this into uh, 
see if I can get to the other the, the, the runway across at the island um, I hope that isn't too much of a spoiler for you if it is why are you watching such an experimental program <laughs> anyway yeah awesome uh, and then I noticed something else about this um, like right now my Kerbal's drowning like look there's water in his helmet what what right, anyway hopefully back on with some subs in a second Okay, so as I come up to cross this end point here, I want to show you how much of a long and arduous journey this has been. Oh, but here's what I reckon will make a good submarine. Um, I call it Aquapig. Let's speed up time a little bit just to carry on rolling. Um, hopefully, he'll survive the um, roll down and into the water. Uh, I'm probably going to have to break before we get there because uh, I've I've entered the water at high speed before. It it doesn't go well. I don't just mean straight down like at. Uh, I I've tried I've tried having boats work before. They never really go all that well. Um, I'm not sure why I think Aquapig's going to do any better. Um, probably because he's Aquapig. <laughs> yeah, it's good enough reason for anything to go well, right? <laughs> no, it breaks. Oh, it broke too far. Uh, oh no no no! We're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Um, yeah. If I suddenly get a squeaky voice, that just means that I've sped this bit up for a little bit. In fact, you're probably listening to me in a squeaky voice right now. Uh, Blame you just made that noise to see what it sounds like on a speed up. <laughs> right, so here we go. Um, pushing into the water. Starting to think that I really should have started this recording at the water's edge, but uh, you guys are gonna have to put up with this now. <coughs> It was quite a long process of getting down here. For some reason, I completely forgot that time acceleration was a thing. Uh, oh, 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 break, break. 10 meters per second is not a good entry speed. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what is a good entry speed. I'm going to go for something around like 4, 5. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. This is the most... Uh, Oh, I think I might cry. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try something else. Okay, here we go. Tapping away on my brakes just to try and keep that speed down. It's actually quite hard to keep below sort of three meters per second or so. Um, oh, I stopped. Give it a little wobble. Braking, braking hard. Oh. Um, oh dear. <laughs> uh, well, I'm kind of in the water. Let's stick my RCS on and. We there? I think we're there. Let's, l let's r pull up my gear. Oh. I can't. Oh, I broke it. Dang it. Why do I always break these things? Uh, oh, that leaves me without any control. Ugh. See you on attempt number three. Right, on our way for splashdown number three. Uh, let's go too fast. Slow down. Slow down. Uh, too fast, too slow. Always, always try. It's the, it's the degree of this slope. Um, if anyone knows of a shallower place to be testing this from, I should really go for a bit of a cruise around in one of my planes. See if that's any better. Okay, so here we go. Splash down. Wish me luck. So I'm not going to retract my gear until we've gone a bit further this time. Go, go, go. Kind of working. Um, let's turn the mass the end of Further extra thrust. Again, kind of working. Putting the gears away. I need a bigger engine on the back of this, don't I? Uh, well, it, here's just another quick little thing I've noticed here. If I try and uh, time warp up, it thinks I'm in orbit. Look, straight to times five. A uh, little bit annoying because it means I can't throttle up. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm gonna 
Oh, am I going to sit here and be bored much longer? Maybe if I put my gear down. Fire up. No, no, we can't even, we can't even drive. Uh, that's loud. Well, if anything, the principal sound. Yeah, bigger engine. I'm going to get on that. Okay, so effort number four. We're in with a uh, pimped out aqua pig. Looking a bit more oinkish. Uh, bigger, bigger engine on the back. And hopefully we can get out a little bit further this time. Uh, that is if we don't smash it up on our way into the water, of course. Uh, getting this speed just right. Not so slow that it's like, you know, brain hemorrhaging and boring. But fast enough to... Uh, but not so fast that it kills me as well. Right, let's power this one up. Oh, look at that, already getting some decent speed. Okay, gear up. 0.4 is good for me. Uh, um, I may cut away slightly. Hopefully get back. Ooh, ah, excuse me. Hopefully get back to you in a uh, couple of seconds. Oh, aqua pig, your no nostrils are underwater. Whatever are you doing? Oh well, it's a good job you can breathe out the water. Look at that. That's nice. Um, do you reckon we can throw a lot? The thing is, I don't want to destroy it from going too fast before I get to a point where we can test this. Am I going to overheat underwater? I am going to overheat underwater, that's amazing. Okay. Um, wow, this might take a while. I might do the gear down um, and then fire all my engines. Uh, this might get loud, I've forgotten to turn my... my hang on, can I do this in, in screen? Uh, settings. Oh, wonderful. Let's turn that down to, you know, at least half. I might turn that down even more. Oh, no. No, it's going to crash. It's giving me a warning. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, dislike. Hey guys, we're back in the water and moving on. Uh, sorry about that little crash there. Uh, I must have some kerbalisms, kerbalisms in my system or something. Kerbalisms, what the heck? All right, and, um, right. So pumping out towards the um, what do you call that? The, the, the continental shelf? Do you reckon it is? Does it does it just drop away? Ah, so couple of experiments to be tried. Um, in fact, if we stop this here. Uh, I'm going to do a space center, come out, load back in, uh, that means I've got a revert in the water, which will be amazing for when I blow myself up, like several billion times over or whatever it is that happens. Uh, back to Aquapig, cool, Aquapig, splish down. Okay, right, we're away. Okay, first, first one I want to try is put my gears down, turn all my gears down, and maybe. Yeah, I can play that back one. Oh wow, why am I trying to do that? What's going on here? Well, I'm underwater, I'm travelling forward, I'm about to run out of fuel, because they don't cross me. You said you crossed there! Looks like I'm going to have to pimp out Aquapig a bit more. But here we go, that's, that's my idea. How do you like it guys? I kind of like it. I, I have a feeling it's going to take a lot more tweaking to make this work properly. Um, like, 
next iteration i'm getting rid of these monocrops that they're, they're rubbish they don't do anything uh cross feed all the fuel tanks obviously i need fuel pumps going back and forth i thought this would just go across because they both said they're cross feed capable you lied to me squad you lied to me um i, I like the piggy motif though i'm probably going to be using that um and tell me in the content uh, in the comments whether you like this aqua pig or this aqua pig i know it's a tiny tiny aesthetic choice but i think it's one that could be made um right cool yeah well, well thank you very much for joining me for this uh, sort of adventurous experimentation and business um yeah just join awesome <laughs> and i will see you guys next time bye bye